uh, I'll admit, uh, I totally blew it. Um, I like to try and hit countries' birthdays if I can. Um, this time it turns out that Israel's Independence Day was May 12th, and we've blown right by it. Uh, so let's pretend that it's May 12th. Uh, happy Israel Independence Day to you. So as you've probably guessed, I'm looking at an Israeli wine today, my first ever in this video series. I can't believe it, but uh, it is, yes, my first Israeli wine, and it is the Tulip Winery 2014 Just. Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, Tulip Winery started in 2003, and it is a winery with social responsibility on its mind. And, uh, and when I'm talking that, I'm not talking about uh, biodynamics or organics or sustainability. What I'm talking about is the winery is located on a mountain in a place called Kvar Tikva, which is the village of hope. And it is a special needs community whose inhabitants have been integrated with the winery which means they help out at the winery, they get a job, they get something to do, and the winery gets to make wine, obviously, because it now has employees, and everybody feels good about themselves because everybody is contributing. And what is even more impressive, it is now the largest boutique winery in all of Israel. So that is pretty impressive. So what do we have here? It's 100% Cabernet Sauvignon, six months in French and American oak. It's about an 80-20 split. So uh, 80 French, 20 American. And I have to say that of the Israeli wines that I have tried over the last few years, one, this one has got great value built in, and two, the Israeli wine industry is getting much, much, much better, so it's something to really look for. Uh, the, uh, as I said, ripe red cherries, black fruit, vanilla, good hit of spice on the finish, and it's, it's $29.95 here in Ontario we shoot the videos, which, believe it or not, for an Israeli wine is a good value because most of the stuff that we get is quite expensive. That's the Tulip Winery 2014 Just Cabernet Sauvignon. It's $29.95 as I said, and I give it four plus stars out of five. I'm Michael Pinkus the Grape Guy for MichaelPinkusWineReview.com. Join me again next week when we'll look at another great bottle of wine. You've been watching The Wine Review with the Grape Guy, Michael Pincus. Don't miss a single video. Subscribe today by visiting YouTube or just clicking that little button on the left. To find out more about MichaelPincusWineReview.com, visit the website. Sign up for the new weekly newsletter. And while there, why not get the scoop on the new Grape Guy Events app, where you collect points for visiting wineries, attending events, retweeting videos, and so much more. Grape Guy Events, giving you more from your wine experience. Thanks for watching. See you next week.